For the quiz, you guys had two equations, two variables. You set them up. Based on what I graded on the quiz, you guys did very well. Now let's up it by one now. All right, I'm going to ask you to solve for three things, which means three variables, which means three equations. Okay, so first hurdle we need to get over is setting up three correct equations. The second hurdle is solving them. All right, so that's going to be the big deal. That's why we only have two problems today, because it's going to take us a while, and I'm going to go real slow. All right, because I don't want any issues tomorrow when you're doing this on your own. All right, so you guys can go ahead and read through the uh, first problem here. We've got 400 tickets sold. There's three, di three types of tickets. We made 3,700 and a little extra there at the end about the number of tickets that were sold. Three types of tickets, right? Three variables. All right, three types of tickets, three variables. Uh, usually when I'm doing these, I told you guys when we did the uh, two equations, two variables, you could really name them whatever variable you wanted. Like if you're looking for the number of oranges or number of bananas, you could call it B if you wanted to. When we're doing three equations, three variables, I stick with X, Y, and Z. All right, I don't screw around with that. So I'll let X equal the uh, number of $8 tickets. We'll let Y equal the number of $10 ones we sell. And here we go now with Z. We'll let that equal the number of $12 tickets. And good news, at least, when I teach you this is the first two equations should be pretty darn similar to what we did before the quiz. Money stays with money, and you're going to do one for the total amount. The only difference is we're going to have to make up a third equation based on that last step. So let's start just like we did before the quiz. How many tickets do I have here? 400. 400. So how's that going to look? No money attached yet. We're not talking about money. We're talking about the total number of tickets sold was 400. So there you go. X plus Y plus Z, 400. Looks familiar. All right, money stays with money. All right, the money stays with money. So $8 we attach to the X, the 10 we attach to Y, and the 12 we attach to Z. And how much money did I make total? $3,700. So, so far it kind of looks like uh, those problems we did before the quiz with an extra letter. All right, now we need a third equation. All right, and that comes from our last sentence and let's see what we got in you. Dig deep. How many tickets of, okay, of each kind? So if the combined, combined number of eight and $10 tickets sold was seven times the number of $12 tickets. So let's go here, ready? Combined number of eight and 10, what do we call those variables? X and Y, and combined means what am I gonna do with them? Addition, Addition. good, add them together, right? But no money though. We're talking about the total number of tickets, so we're leaving the money off. So X plus Y, the combined amount of tickets was equals seven times the number of $12 tickets. So what should I put on the other side here? Seven times the number of $12 tickets sold. Seven times Z. Again, no money attached because we're talking about the number of tickets sold, right? Not how much they cost. Uh, quick suggestion. Yeah, get X, Y, and Z all on the same side. All right, get X, Y, Z all on the same side. So I'm going to just erase this because I can. How do you get it over? Okay, so minus 7Z. You still got to set it equal to something, though. Moving it over is a good idea, but nothing's there, right? So zero. Any questions on the three equations before we get solving them? All right, definite deep breath. Please, some of you are very good, but please be organized, neat writing. Okay, because once you get sloppy, this gets chaotic. All right, so first step, you are going to choose two out of three, these three equations, choose two of them and eliminate a variable. 
All right, can we make a class decision what two we want to choose? One first and second, or sorry, first and third? Okay. And we get lucky in this one, and you'll see why. Okay, I get it. You chose those two. Now choose to eliminate a variable. What's up, Max? Can we eliminate two variables? And this, this is why I say you're going to get lucky here, because that is going to happen. Okay, that is going to happen here. We do get it happens every once in a while, not all the time, but it will happen here. Uh, what can I multiply one of the equations by? Negative one. So I'll multiply this top equation by negative one. A reminder, you did no issues on the quiz, but I remembered checking your assignment, distribute it all the way through. So negative X minus Y minus Z equals negative 400. We're all good. I haven't lost anybody. Again, you ju we just get it's luck here. All right. The second problem we do before we end class, it's you're not going to get lucky. Here we do get lucky because take a look. Cancel. Cancel. How many Z's are left here? Combine your like terms. Negative 8Z. And then over here, negative 400. And sometimes it's rare, but you do get two variables canceled at the same time. So right here, Z is equal to, do your uh, magic here. Fifty. Fifty tickets that are worth $12. So $50, or not $50, just 50 tickets, one job. Again, sorry if I'm taking it slower than some of you guys go a little faster. Anything here? All right, now step two. Okay, I, I don't want to pick the same two equations. I know what's going to happen. Pick two new equations, and let's eliminate another variable. What do I mean? Well, we already know Z is 50, right, everyone? We already know Z is 50. As you pick these two equations, plug it in. All right, do we have a preference? We got to pick two, obviously. So one and one and two. Is everyone all right with that? Okay, as I write one and two, I'm going to plug in 50, though. All right, so this first one, here's step two. X plus Y plus 50 equals 400. What do you guys want to do there, maybe? Add the 50? Subtract. Subtract it. Subtract it over, right? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Okay, so subtract it over. I get X plus Y equals 350. It's not that funny. <laughs> It takes me so much as the year goes by not to go out there and just choke slam some kid. Ready? Next one. 8x. You guys know what I'm talking about. You're not you're not that cool. Plus, all right, ready? Plug in 50. 12 times 50. What do I have here? Ooh, 12 times 50. 600? 600? equal to 3,700. I haven't lost anybody, right? All I did was plug in 50 for Z and got 600. Probably want to move it over, right? So it looks like the other one. So go ahead. Gabby, how do I move it over? Yep, darn right. So 8X plus 10Y equals 3,100. All right, I, I, I shouldn't have to say much, right? Now this turns into a problem you guys did for me on the quiz. Get rid of X or Y, your call. What do you want to multiply the top by? Negative eight, or we could do negative 10, whatever floats your boat. 
I'll go negative eight. All right, distribute it all the way across. Negative eight X minus eight Y equals, let's see, that's gonna be a 700 four times, 2,800, yeah. negative 2,800. Two Y equals three hundred. So ten dollar tickets, there were one hundred and fifty of them. One more variable, and how are we going to? You guys are on Easy Street now. Once you find the first two, because how are you going to find the remaining one? But either one, right? You got three choices to plug it in. You probably let's you know, let's be honest, probably gonna plug it into the first one because you know there's 400 total tickets, and you already have 50 and 150. And let's see what's that. 200 tickets, so there's 200 more to go. Anything here? Anything we want to go over? Because the problem we do, this last problem we do, you're not going to get lucky. It won't cancel two variables out. So what the heck do I do then if I don't cancel two variables? But anything, hey, anything, reach out here. You're all good. All righty, buckle up for this one. Anybody do anything exciting on their day off Friday? Okay. What did you do, Mr. Thurman? I was here. I didn't have a day off. Yeah, I was here. What about your St. Patrick's Yesterday? Uh, not much at all. No? Yes, yes, Saturday we had Tito's time. Don't worry about it. I know you were wondering about that. Little late day, so we got to push it up to about six o'clock. So. From a tradition around five thirty ish. Yes. All right, here we go. Uh, we're looking for the amount of money invested at each of these three rates. So let's start with our variables. Uh, we'll let X equal our first rate, which is eight percent. So we'll say the money. Invested at 8%. Bless you. Bless you. Three bagger? No? All right. It's disappointing. We'll have Y be the money invested at 10%. And then Z will be the money we put in the 12% account. All right, these equations are a little bit tougher than the last one, but at least we know right off the bat, we're putting in a total of 6,700. So that should give us our first equation. No percentages or anything, total amount of money we invest is 6,700. So how do I use X, Y, and Z to show you that? Plus y plus Equals, there you go, just like the number of tickets sold. X plus Y plus Z, remember this is all money. All money put in, X, Y, and Z, that total amount I put in was 6,700. All right, you ready to attach the percents now? 8%, how's that going to look? With what variable? 0. 0.08X. So 8% times that amount I put in, plus what's 10% going to look like? 0. 0.10Y plus 12%, 0.12Z. And then it tells you how much money did we get from the investments. 
716. So when we applied the investment percents here, 8, 10, and 12, we got $716 back. And then there's that third one. This is the one that always worries me. I think you guys are solid on the first two. The third equation always worries me. Ready? The amount of money we invested at 12%. Stop. What do we call that? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just talking about the money invested. We just called that Z. All right. We're not attaching any percent. It's just the amount. The amount of money invested at 12%. We just called it Z. Was, is equal to. All right, what do you got for me? 300 more than the amount we invested at eight and 10 combined. What am I putting at the other side of this equal sign here? Wait, see, I did X plus Y equals Z plus three. X plus Y, which is the Two, eight and 10 combined, right? Eight and 10 combined, X plus Y plus 300. The amount of money invested at 12%, right? We called Z. So that's why there's a Z there. Was, is equal to the amount combined of the 10 and the eight, 300 more than that. So I could have put the 300 first if anybody's freaking out. I could have put 300 plus X plus Y. Okay, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. First thing is, can we uh, change? That's disgusting. This last one here, right? I like X, Y, and Z to be on the same side. So can we transform that maybe? And then I want to talk about something else maybe that you're not feeling that I can help you with here. What am I doing here? All right, so everyone, I'm going to move the 300 over and I'm going to move the Z over. So they're all on the same sides. Everyone good? So it's going to be X plus Y. What do you know about that Z when I move it over? Minus Z. And then what do you know about the 300 when I move it over? Minus. Equals negative 300. So that's the equation I'm going to work with. Uh, I'm going to make a suggestion. Take it or leave it. How comfortable you feel. I don't know how much you like dealing with the decimals. All right, because you're going to be using them in a minute. If you don't like the decimals, get rid of them. How? Move them over two spots. So this instead of 0.08 is what? 8x. This becomes 10y. This becomes 12z. But if you want to do that, you got to make sure you do it to everything, including the 716. You're going to have to add two zeros to it. You're going to multiply by 100, just like you did here. So again, if you don't make the decision now, all right, keep the decimals or make this 8x plus 10y plus 12z equals 716 with two more zeros. Do we have a preference? We're going to keep the decimal in here. Or do you want to move it? Keep it. We're okay dealing with it. All right. Maybe you'll change your tune after we do this. Uh, we'll see. All right, guys. Pick two equations right now. And we're going to eliminate a variable. It happened again, didn't it? It's going to happen again. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Check. My bet. Mine. That's on me. On me. I wasn't thinking straight. So ready? First step. You guys are going to take the first, uh, first and the third. Why take those? Because what happens? Z. See you later. I don't even need to multiply by a darn thing. Do we all see that? Yes. You could but make sure you get 2z in there. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to do that because I want to show what happens when two don't get eliminated. But yes, 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 you can. Ready, guys? What? Are, how many x's do I have left? 2x and 2y. Z's are gone, we said. And what am I left with here? 60, 400. All right, now, now we got to talk something new because this didn't happen in the last one. Last one, I had two... Variables cross off right away. What variable did I just eliminate up there? So that's your job in the next step. You're going to pick two new equations, and you have to eliminate Z. There's no other choice. All right, you eliminate Z in the first step. You eliminate Z in your second step. 
So now we got to pick two new equations. All right, obviously it's got to involve number two. We got to pick that. With which one? One and two. Is that one and two? Everyone all right? Okay, so step two, I'm going to take the first equation and now the second one, and I am forced to eliminate Z. And this is where maybe you guys don't want to deal with decimals. We'll see. Please take your time. Mistakes are going to happen easily. Okay, we can eliminate Z by multiplying the top one by what? By negative 0.12 Z. This is where I'm saying maybe you guys aren't going to be a big decimal fans at this point. All right, distribute all the way through. Ready? Negative 0.12 Z or 12 X, sorry. That should be an X. There we go. Negative 0.12 Z plus 0.12 Z. Distribute that sucker all the way across. I'm going to need a little help for that one. Negative 0.12 times 6,700. What do you have? 804. 804, thank you. Negative 804, right? Yep. Anybody changing their tune about the decimals? Maybe you want to get rid of them at the beginning. Uh, all right, so we have negative 0.04x. Minus... 0.02y, correct me if I'm wrong, they cancel, equals negative, oh boy, how far apart are they, 12? Eighty-eight? Yeah. All right. I'm even re second guessing myself. I should have just had you move those decimals over. But any anybody here before we move on to the next step? So you, you take eliminate a variable, take two new equations, eliminate a variable. All right, now look what I'm left with: two equations with x and y. Now I know you don't probably like those decimals, right? All right, two x plus two y equals 6,400, and then this one right here, negative 0.04x minus 0.02y equals negative 88. All right, I got to figure out what to multiply by to eliminate x or y now. All right, I got to figure out what can I multiply by. The top or bottom one, multiply by a number so either the x's will eliminate themselves or the y's will eliminate themselves. And this is where it would be nice to have whole numbers. But hey, this is the path we chose. So let's figure out what we got to multiply one of them by. Play around in your cap and you know, negative 0.04 times this. Does that give me negative two? I want this to change into a negative two or this to change into a, I'm sorry, this to change into a negative two or this one to change into a negative two. Anybody find anything to multiply by? Emma? Negative 50. What's that going to eliminate? X. Okay, yep. And, or anybody multiply by anything that eliminates the Y's? You can multiply by 10. Yep, either one. All right, so I'll take, you know, Emma gave me my, hers first. What would you say, Emma? Multiply by? Negative 50. Or just 50, right? Yep, yep. What are we waiting on? Point oh two was twenty four hundred to get to two. It would be one hundred, not ten. Yep, it would be a hundred. Mar, you good there? It would be a hundred, yep. not ten. Oh. Okay, that was my fault. Yep. All right, here you go, guys. So let's do this. So I'll just rewrite that first equation. Nothing's changing there. 
and multiply everything by 50 now. So negative 2x. Oh, I'm going to need, let's see, that wasn't 100. That would have been 2. Is this just 1? Yes. Negative 1y. And I have no idea what's going on over here. All right, good job. We're almost there. They cancel. And what are we left with? 2,000 here? All right, 2,000 for Y. So it looks like we invested $2,000 in the 10% account. All right, you guys take over. What do I do with the 2,000 now? Yeah, uh, probably avoid the decimal one, right? So keep working backwards. 2x plus 2 times 2,000 equals 6,400. That equals 4,000. Subtract the 4,000 on each side, 2,400. So it looks like we invested $1,200 in the, what count was that, 8%. And now once you have two variables, you go back up to one of the original three and solve for Z. My bet would be putting in the first equation, but it's your call. We already have what, 1,200, we already have 2,000, that's 3,200. We invested 6700 Invested a good chunk of change in that last one, huh? All right, questions, comments? All right, you got another two tomorrow. Take your time. Don't get frustrated tomorrow. Just call me over and ask any questions.